I'm Stefan, I'm a vet resident here at Auckland Zoo. We have a juvenile loggerhead sea turtle that we're going to do a little bit of a health assessment on. It came into us from Kaitaia. Today we're going to get it out, we're going to try and get a blood sample from it. We'll give it a little swim as well for some exercise and to assess its buoyancy and its swimming ability. When wild sea turtles get brought in that are unwell, we'll do the vet work. When they're sick and they're floating, and especially as they get closer to the shore, these barnacles get onto them and they stay on and they get quite big. Uh, it's usually a sign that they're unwell um, because they're not swimming around very much. 182.5. Nice. So this little guy, as opposed to a lot of the bigger ones that have come in, has been eating basically as soon as it, it came through. So it's doing pretty well for early days in a, in a sea turtle. So Amy's just firmly but gently extending that head to try and open up the blood vessel and give me as good of a shot as I can. Blood just goes into one of these anticoagulant tubes. Good stuff. All right, so we've got blood. Now we give him a swim. You can see he's quite tired there. If they're fit and well, they don't stop. They just sort of keep going, unless they're sitting on the bottom fully resting. Quite often when they come in from the wild, they're sick and well. Along with that is dehydration, and that takes several days to weeks to, to overcome with both oral and injectable fluid therapy. It's basically the equivalent of an IV of getting, of getting put on a drip. Nice. And that's us pretty well done with him. Today went really well. Um, was a bit uncertain about whether we were going to get blood out of such a small sea turtle. In terms of swimming, it's quite a vigorous little animal. But as far as we can tell in these early stages, things are looking pretty positive for that it'll eventually go to Kelly Tartans for rehab and then down the line release back to the wild. So the sea turtle's making really good progress now. Over the last two or three days, he's started to eat little bits of food by himself and, and started to not get tired during his swims. He's actually been in the bath swimming continuously for 24 hours now. So we've treated him for a lot of, a lot of the problems going on. We've warmed him up, we've got food and glucose into him, but we don't know that underlying cause. Some of them have eaten plastic. The problem with the plastic is we can't see that on x-rays. So the next big step for this guy is he needs to poo. And once we know he's got food going in at one end, and if we can just see normal poo coming out, we know there's no obstruction. Yeah, so this guy will go off to Kelly Tarleton's today and their aquarist will check him every day and make sure he's okay. And then we, the vet department, go every couple of weeks and do follow-up checks and hopefully swimming in a, a slightly bigger tank with filtered seawater will give him the best chance of, of his guts working normally and then giving, the, giving us the outcome we want. So Auckland Zoo uh, vet team have been working with Kelly Tarleton's for the last eight years, helping with sea turtle rescue. Um, and obviously we work collaboratively uh, with DOC. It has to be a big collaborative approach. Each institution brings a skill set that the others don't have and hopefully the outcome is that we can work together and get these turtles back into the wild where they belong. What? <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I've never worked with something that small, a turtle that small, so it's just it's beyond like anything you can imagine and it's just, yeah, I feel really privileged to be able to do this. It's already doing really well, so basically we need to um, get it diving down properly um, it needs to um, poo, essentially. Um, we haven't quite got that right, right yet. And um, as soon as we have those things right, then um, we'll put it out into the next stage of rehabilitation, which we'll is put them out into the turtle tank with the other turtles. After the um, process of rehabilitation, if we're satisfied with its health, um, we're gonna hopefully release it up north 
um, there's a tropical current moving past so it's nice and warm water and hopefully this guy will feel um, right at home there, so yeah. New Zealand is at the southernmost range of a lot of sea turtles natural range depending on the currents in the season so it's normal for sea turtles to live in the coastal waters around New Zealand particularly around the, the north of the North Island but it's absolutely abnormal for them to be on our beaches. The only time a sea turtle should be on a beach is if it's female and if it's trying to lay eggs um, and that definitely doesn't happen in New Zealand. So if a sea turtle is found on a beach in New Zealand, it's profoundly unwell and nearly dead. So the important thing is to make sure it's not in immediate danger on a road and phone Doc. Um, and then Doc can help get the turtle towards and we can help save it hopefully.